And welcome back to the Daily Wrap. Well, journalists and pundits from both sides of the aisle are finally in agreement. But it's not over a policy matter. Oh, no. Instead, it's over a train wreck of an interview which aired last month with Bloomberg's Mark Halpern, usually a pretty good journalist, and Texas Senator and 2016 hopeful Ted Cruz. The interview had shockingly gone unnoticed by the media until recently. Let's see what all the commotion is about. Our guest tonight is a Texas senator and a Republican presidential candidate. It's Ted Cruz joining us now from Capitol Hill. Your colleague, Bernie Sanders of Vermont, another senator, announced he was going to also run for president from the other party. What's your appraisal of his candidacy? And can we hear your very good and very respectful imitation of Senator Sanders? <laughs> well, I think I'll avoid the business of trying to do imitations of my colleagues. Okay, not off to the best start, but I'm sure it'll get better when Halpern starts asking questions of the senator on more serious issues. But let me ask you, it seems to me your last name is Cruz and you're from Texas. Just based on that, should you have appeal to Hispanic voters? Senator, people are really interested in you and your identity. So I just want to ask you as a historical matter, when you filled out your application to Princeton, to Harvard Law School, did you list yourself as an Hispanic? Oh, sure. I've listed myself as Cuban-American. That's, that's, that's my heritage and my background. I want to close with, we'll talk a little bit more about your Cuban heritage mm -hmm. and, uh, and ask you in the following categories whether uh, you have an affinity for or a connection to anything part of your Cuban past. You got a favorite Cuban food, Cuban dish? Favorite, you, got, you like Cuban music? Do you have a favorite Cuban singer? Well, it can't really get much worse than that. Hmm. Can it? Finally, I want to give you the opportunity to directly welcome your colleague, Senator Sanders, to the race, and I'd like you to do it, if you would, en espanol. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to stick to English, and I, but I appreciate the in invitation, senor. Well, I was wrong. It did get worse. <laughs> to the senator's credit, he actually handled the questions yeah. with poise. Halpern later issued an apology, saying, My intent was to give the senator a chance to speak further about his heritage and personal connections to the community through some casual questions. I rushed through the questions, you did, and that was a mistake. It led to poor tone and timing. As for asking Senator Cruz to welcome Senator Sanders to the race in Spanish, that was meant to be a type of lighthearted banter that he's done with us before on the show. In no way was I asking Senator Cruz to prove he was an authentic Latino. I apologized to to those that were offended, ding, and to Senator Cruz. I promise that I will work to make the tone and questions better next time. <laughs> Halpern has been lambasted in the media from both sides, pretty much calling him and the interview racist. Can Halpern recover from this, Heather Hansen? Yeah, I think he can recover from it. It was absolutely ridiculous behavior. I, it makes me wonder, I have seen him on shows as a pundit. I've never seen him doing the interviews. Mm -hmm. And it just makes me wonder if it's a situation where he just doesn't know how to interview someone. Because if you were to ask similar questions of a woman, like where do you shop and you know all kinds of t stereotypical questions, mm -hmm. it would be equally offensive. I don't know how he thought he was going to get away with that. This shows, Rick, how difficult it is to be not only a guest and a pundit, but to host a show as well. <laughs> and to have that versatility and yes. flexibility. It's, uh, it's, it's just so hard. It's impossible. What we yes. do is brutal. I mean, it's way easier than heavy lifting. <laughs> you know? Do you think that, be, what, what was Halpern's real motivation? You said he was trying to joke around, but clearly no, he was trying what? to make he him look was, foolish. He was trying to do exactly what he said he wasn't trying to do. He was trying to show or find out the authenticity of, of his Latino heritage. It was awful. But you know what? He does, he, there's no recovering for him because there, anybody who knows this guy knows that this is who he is. I mean, this is the guy who was thrown off of Morning Joe for, I don't remember how long the suspension was, a month, two months, mm -hmm. for calling the President of the United States an incredibly offensive word. I could do this without being offensive. Yeah? It's the nickname for Richard. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, <laughs> no, Mark, Mark Halperin, I'm not the least bit surprised. In fact, when I heard the story was happening, no kidding, I heard that somebody had done this, I went, it had to be Mark Halperin. But his background is what? I mean, he wrote The Game Changer. He's not, yeah, doesn't no, have he's a, a journal. Oh, no, yeah. he's, he's, he's a serious, he's journalist. A serious he journalist. Apparently, he's a proclivity he's, he's for racist now, questioning. He's now I mean, the political editor at, at Bloomberg. Right, and, and, yeah, yeah, right. I just don't know that he has the experience to do what he was doing and do it better. He has no personality. You, you know what the best part about this whole story is? <laughs> I think everybody is missing. The fact that this interview was done on April 30th. And it's only coming I out yeah. I now. I thought it was like right. yesterday. No, I know, did not realize Are it. you a little bit perturbed if you're Michael Bloomberg? And that was on Bloomberg TV. That's true. And no one noticed it <laughs> right. for two weeks. Until someone said, did you see that interview with Cruz? True. It's, it's really unbelievable. You've got to be worried if you're doing it. But actually, whenever it comes out, what's worse to me, 
I apologize to those who were offended. No, no, no. Right. no everyone Here's the deal. You have to apologize because what you did is offensive. Yeah. Would you look at President Obama and say, Mr. President, can you say that in jive? It's Ooh. like the old airplane movies. I mean, my God, for a 16-year-old to do it and think it's cute, I get. To actually be on Bloomberg and be a regular guest on MSNBC and do this stuff? No, no, that's not good. Last Ted one. Cruz handled it beautifully. He did. And he, he did. then accepted the apology beautifully. You have to give him credit where credit's due. I uh, am, am not one to do that very right, often, <laughs> but he did handle it very well. I agree. Okay, well, we have to say adios to this segment. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next. It's potluck time, and I hear Rick and Heather have cooked up something special this evening. Normally, it's our favorite stories of the day. They have combined to give you a casserole. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> so we'll have more of that from New York. This is The Daily Wrap. Do not go anywhere.